welcome. I'm Dori Sukup. I want to welcome everyone. We have actually people from all over the country with us today for this great presentation we're about to have, where we're going to focus on how to chart a super successful career path. If you are an injector or any kind of provider, this is going to be an amazing event for you. I, I also notice on our list, we even have some members on with us. So special welcome to all of you who are already members of Inspiration Management. And if you're not a member, we love having newcomers. If you're part of our community, you can also be with us on social media for this event. So I'm super excited that you're with us today. So grab a pen and a paper because we are going to go over all sorts of information that's going to be super beneficial for you. So let me start by who this is ideal for. So if you guys are medical professionals or entrepreneurs who are looking for ways to succeed in the medical aesthetics industry, you're definitely in the right place. So great to have you with us. And I just wanna let you know that one thing we are noticing as a consulting firm in having phone calls coming in all day long from different people like yourself, medical professionals or entrepreneurs, we are seeing a big shift in the industry. As a matter of fact, we were just at a conference in Boca Raton, Florida, and we met so many people that are purely injectors. And that's really what drove me to do this webinar for you because I felt like they were at a loss. They did not know exactly which direction or what career path to really choose. And that's why I decided to do this presentation for you. So the fact is there are medical professionals that are looking for a new beginning, looking for a new career path and they are all wanting to be part of the medical aesthetics industry. But the big question is how do you succeed? Because they don't teach you business in medical school. And that's really what we are here today to share with you is ways you could benefit. That's really my goal for this webinar with you is for you to benefit. That's really my goal and how to choose a successful path within our beautiful industry. So we've been doing this for 20 years and that's where I basically dissected some of the most important information to share with you today. So here's the content that we're going to go over. The first thing we're gonna discuss is I wanted to give you a little idea of what's going on within our industry and share some statistics with you that you'll find very valuable and very exciting actually. And then we're going to dive into the available career opportunities that you have. So if you're just starting out, or maybe you're already working somewhere and you don't really know which path to take, this is exactly what we're going to discuss today. I'm going to share with you different ways that you can generate a great lifestyle for you, great revenue streams for you, and truly reach the goals that you want to reach. The next thing we'll discuss is the skills that you need and income expectations. What could you generate for yourself when you are in this industry, whether you are an injector, whether you are a laser tech, any kind of provider really, an esthetician, what are the expectations? And then I can't talk about this without legally speaking, making sure because our medical aesthetics industry has many different legal issues, even depending on what state you live in, it varies from state to state. So it's very important to dot your I's and cross the T's and make sure that you're doing things legally. And then we're gonna wrap up with charting that successful path to make sure you know what you can do and what your next step should be. Does that sound good? All right, I have a live audience here. I wanna say thank you to my team. We're actually broadcasting from our studios in Daytona Beach, Florida. This is a full blown studio. So I have video production team. I even have a little live audience who are some of our team members that are joining us today. And uh, I just wanna say thank you to all of them for helping us prepare for this great presentation for you. So why am I standing here talking to you? Who am I? You probably already know about me. If you don't, I'm not gonna sit here and do a big long introduction, but I do wanna offer you a complimentary copy of my newest book. This is my fourth book, and we just published it actually last month. So it's called Medical Aesthetic Success, Your Business in the Black. So we wanna definitely be in the black, so we are profitable. 
to get a copy of my book, you can go two different places, actually three. You can go to Amazon if you like, or you can go to inspirationmanagement.com and get a copy, complimentary. Or you can go, we have a website specifically for the book. You can go to medicalaestheticsuccess.com and be able to get a copy of my book. So make sure you get it. And while I'm on this slide, we do two shows every single month for you to help you with your business. One is the Dory Talks. So I want to invite you to go to the YouTube channel and subscribe. And then we also do Meet the Experts show. So we are super excited that you're here. So let's go ahead and start diving into the content and I would like for all of you to take a quick poll so we know who is in our audience today and I would love for you to tell me what position do you currently have within the medical spa industry do you work for someone are you a solopreneur or you're thinking maybe about opening something up so let us know who you are and those of you who have questions as we go through the information you're welcome to go ahead and punch in your question either uh, doesn't matter where you are because we are actually live on instagram on facebook on zoom on youtube so if you have questions as we're going along make sure you communicate with my team and we're going to leave some time at the end to answer some of those questions so are you ready Woohoo! i can have my live audience Make some. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're going to have fun. Let's start with our statistics and what's going on in our industry, first of all. Look at this. Check this out. We are a $15 billion industry right now. Isn't that exciting? And it's growing. There are medical spas opening up on every corner right now. Competition is very fierce. That's why you want to make sure to choose the right career path so you are as successful as possible. And here's the exciting news. Out of that 15 billion, we actually have 70,000 professionals in our industry. That's a lot of people, right? And it's growing. There's such demand for injectors, for laser techs, for estheticians, for all sorts of professionals that are needed, guest relations team members. So definitely there are many, many opportunities. It's going to be up to you what to partake in and actually take advantage of so you can be super successful as well. So what's going on as far as the number of medical spas? So that $15 billion is actually generated from 8,800 medical spas. Very cool. Now, where do you come in? because this really presentation is geared to providers, injectors, and people who work in the industry. Check this out. This is a very exciting number. 26% of this 8,800 is actually owned by people like you, either nurse practitioners, PAs, RNs, or entrepreneurs. But the part of this here that's very important to you is how do you get here? How do you become one of these owners if that's your goal? And that's part of what we're going to discuss today. And I'm gonna share with you some examples of some of our clients and members to show you how they made that transition from a provider into a super successful entrepreneur. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we all want? We all want to be super successful. Whether you are working for someone or whether you go out on your own, either way, it's something that we all want to do. So let's start with the second thing here is how to choose the right path. Now, most of you probably know my friend Shelby Miller. I had met Shelby, oh my goodness, probably about six years ago. I was speaking at a conference and she happened to be there and we started talking. At that time, she was working for someone. She was an injector in a medical spa. So we started talking and she, she, if you know Shelby, she's an achiever. She's a person that wants to move up in the world and wants to do well for herself. We started talking and she told me I would like to start the path to being my own boss. So that's exactly what she did. She left the practice and then she went and did one room solopreneur. And then during the pandemic, in the middle of the shutdown, she was doing the construction on her first facility, Ruma. She lives in Utah, by the way. 
and then just recently she just expanded again and has a multi-million dollar business and a training center. So that's a great career path. Shelby is an amazing, amazing professional. As a matter of fact, if you go to her uh, Instagram um, uh, name, it's aesthetic underscore injector. She has over 111,000 followers now on Instagram. How many injectors do you know have those kind of numbers? And you know what's funny? Before I started this live event for you, I went on her uh, Instagram account to see how many people she's up to. And I just happened to see a video she had posted on Saturday. And she was talking about how some people think, oh, it's just so easy to open up a place and make millions and be happy and have a husband, have a family, have a, the job, the, the business. It's not. It's not so easy. And she was having this moment of truth. I just have, I'm getting goosebumps because I just happened to watch this right before I came in here. And she wanted everybody to know that it's not always so easy. You have to do the work. Everybody has to do the work in order to succeed. But she was able to do the work and that's how come she's super successful right now. And to me, if someone can do this, so can you, so can you. There's a proven model to actually gain that kind of success. So what is that model? You know, you might be in school or you might have already graduated. I don't know, but this is a good path. Then you need to go get that experience. I see so many people, like I'm a, one of the faculty members at the Empire Medical Training, and we go to many of their conferences. And I see so many people, medical professionals, going and studying and learning how to do injectables. And then they think that they're going to open up a place and just open it and they'll come. Doesn't happen that way. You need experience. You need to go and work somewhere. You got to do a lot of injectables. You got to really do the work and gain that experience. It's very important to have experience. Once you have the experience, then you graduate to the expert level. That's what Shelby is. Shelby is just not any injector. She's an expert at injecting. And how she got there is through hard work and practicing and learning. And not only practicing and learning clinical, but she practiced and learned business because that's exactly what she was saying on that video when I was watching. It's hard to run a business. It's not that simple. You need a model, you need the steps to follow in order to succeed, and that's really what it takes. So after you have the expertise, then you need management experience. You need to know how the business actually runs. And in most cases, medical professionals are not taught that. You don't know how to recruit, hire, train, come up with a compensation model, come up with your finances, know exactly how to market, how to bring traffic into your facility, how to profit. You don't know all these things, but you think it's going to be so easy to just get your Botox and your filler license, and then I'm going to be able to make millions. It takes work. It takes work. So then once you learn the management, then you should be able to advance, maybe go open up your place and be successful. Now you're setting yourself up for success rather than winging it and that end up failing. You don't want to do that, do you? Absolutely not. So it's very important to chart that nice career path. And as I mentioned, it's not just clinical work, it's business. So people like Shelby, that's what I really love about working with people like her in general, those people are dedicated to success. That means you need to learn both aspects. You need to learn the clinical if you are going to be a provider, or you might just be an entrepreneur, which is fine. You don't have to learn clinical, but you still need to learn business. So Shelby, actually, this is a video of Shelby. If you wanna go to YouTube and look under our raving fans, you'll see what she had to say about our Leap Ahead seminar that we usually have. It's a three-day event that we usually host, but it's also available virtually now. So we go over A to Z, how to operate a business successfully. So she's saying how she recommends this event 
to everyone who's getting started in the industry or who's already been in the industry. So if you want to go and check it out, and if you want to learn more about the Leap Ahead seminar, you can go on our website and learn more about it. But I have to emphasize how important it is to learn business to be successful. Because if you're just learning one thing and not the other, that's like trying to work with one hand instead of both. When you have both hands functional, you're going to be a lot more productive and a lot more successful. So if she can do it again, so can you. So what can you do? How can you chart a successful career path? Or what are the opportunities in our industry right now that you'll be able to count on? So I'm going to talk about three things you can do right now. One is you can become an employee. You can go and find work. Uh, many medical spas are always looking for providers. So you can go and actually be an employee first and really learn all the things that are important to chart that successful path. Then you can open up a place. Some people go and open up one little studio. That's how actually Shelby went into first. So one room can be a little easier than trying to open up a full-blown medical spa, which is number three. So if you want to be a full-blown entrepreneur with a team, so you have many people working for you, that's fine. So these are the three options that you have within the industry right now to actually kickstart a career within the medical aesthetics. So you can work for someone, you can go be a solopreneur, or you can open up a full-blown actual medical spa. So let's talk about the differences between each one so you're a little bit clearer on that. Again, if you have any questions as we're going along, make sure that you type them in and we would love to have you have answers for you. So I just uh, did an injector income potential as an employee. If you are looking for work as an injector, this is just an injector example. It tells you the annual salary by area. So like in Florida, an average injector in Florida, that's where we are right now, is makes 74,000 a year. So that's the average, right? Now there are some people that make more, there are some people that make less. It depends on their expertise, their talent, how good they are. Or, so the monthly pay is about $6,000 a month. So that's a great start for somebody brand new, right? It's a good income, it's a good way to get started. Now, as an employee, when somebody is paying you that kind of money, if you truly wanna chart a successful career path, there has to be functions, value, that you bring to the position. Because if you're not bringing value, who's going to pay you 70, 80, 100,000 a year if you're not bringing value. And what I mean by bringing value is this. The first thing, big missed opportunities, is the consultation process that you guys usually do. And I just went as a secret shopper, as a matter of fact, to one of our uh, brand new clients, and I went for my Botox. So I walked in, and did a, she did a very minor consultation process just for Botox. And she did the Botox, and I left. Well, this person obviously did not bring any value to the practice because I needed more than just Botox. But had she done what we call the full-blown consultation, we call it a get-to-know-you consultation. It's called the sacred system, and this is what we teach in this program here called Success with Guest Consultation. You have the manual and you have the whole program. When you do in-depth consultations, you have taken this one client from maybe giving you $350 to actually giving you up to thousands of dollars. It could be two, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. And that's what I mean by bringing value to the practice. But if you're just clocking in, going in, doing exactly what the client asks for, you're an order taker instead of being a revenue generator. And that's a big, big mistake. If you want to advance in your career, you have got to elevate your value. You have got to do proper consultations 
and truly give your clients what they need. Because if you don't, guess what? They're not going to come back to you. They're going to look in the mirror. They're not going to see a big transformation. They're going to end up going somewhere else. And that's not good for you. It's not good for the client. And it's not good for the owner of the business. And that's what you want. You want to bring value to where you work. And that's a sure way to get advancements in your career. So that's number one. The other one is upgrades and retail. I'm amazed how many injectors will sit and do their fillers or Botox or Kybella or whatever it is, and then they let people walk out without any retail products. That's another huge, huge missed opportunity for the client, for you as a provider, and for the business. Everyone should, and it could be so simple, so simple. It could be as you holding your hand by their face and go, and you know what, we just did your injectables. But next, let's work on the surface of your skin. Let's give you a good home care regimen that will benefit the results that we just did. And it's so easy. And then give me the proper product so I can take care of my skin at home. So that's huge. The other one is cross-marketing. So the whole business gets uh, excited and be able to generate revenue. And then the last thing is asking for referrals, getting reviews, enrolling people into the membership program that you have. And if you don't have one, by the way, you definitely need one. So those are all business principles that are so important to your entire career path. That's setting the foundation because you know what? If you are doing these four or five things that I just talked about, you will be in such high demand that people are going to want you to come and work with them. But if you just show up, you are an order taker, you do the treatment and leave, not so good. Not so good. So that's very, very important. So that's number one, so being an employee. So if you choose path number one of being an employee, make sure you are a great employee. That's really the best advice I can give you. Now, let's talk about number two. If you chose, let's say you've been somewhere for a while, and now you want to go on your own. Yes, you can do that. And we have many clients who have made that transition. And you just have to be prepared, though, and make sure you do it right. As a matter of fact, it could be very profitable if it's done right. We have injectors who have rented one room in a studio and are generating $1 million out of that one room. Now, of course, you still have to learn how to run a business. It's not just about gross revenue. It's about how much revenue you get to keep in your pocket. And it's about paying yourself and being able to manage all the business principles within that studio that you have. But I just wanted to show you something very exciting. If you are operating that studio at 100% capacity, you'll be able to generate, let's say you're open 195 hours in a month, and let's say you're averaging $500 a client, so that's basically only Botox. I'm being very conservative. So that's $100,000 a month right there, $94,000. That's a million dollars a year just from one room if you're operating at 100% capacity. Now look at this, at 50% capacity, you're still gonna make $500,000 in a year. So is it good? Is it a good way for you to start? Yes, but as long as you set the good business foundation that you need, so when you try to scale and grow later on, you already have all these principles in place and you're able to glide into success and that's really what we help you do we want for you so keep that in mind definitely you need to know how to run a business very key even though it's a studio it's still a business you need to learn how to do that and the third way is the full-blown entrepreneur and we deal with so many of those folks we have so many physicians that are actually so tired of having a medical practice or they work in the ER or they're hospitalists and they're just wanting something new and fresh. 
you know, sometimes when we do something for 20 years, it's like, okay, I want to do something else. It's like a second career to them. And it's so nice, so nice to be able to build something from scratch and then be able to hire team members and contribute to your community. So what can you do with that? You can generate up to three, and we have helped people do that. As a matter of fact, if you're at about 500 or a million right now, you can definitely be at two, three, four, five million dollars. We have clients that do 500,000 a month in revenue. So the opportunities are endless. You just need to choose that path first, decide where you want to be, where do you want to be a year from now? Where do you want to be two years, three years, five years from now? And then do all the work like Shelby did in order to get to that success level that I'm sure you're looking to do. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, so moving on to the skills and expectations uh, that are needed. So we teach a business model that is so proven successful all you have to do is take the components of it, there's actually eight steps to it, and implement it. I don't have time to go over the, the model, that's not what this uh, presentation is about, but if you go on YouTube, we have a webinar that you can watch from the studio here and be able to see what that business model is. But the most important thing is this here. You have got to invest in your education. If you don't invest in your education, you're going to be winging it. Winging it leads to the wild, wild west of business operations. You don't want to be there. Instead, you want to have what we call the four S's, systems, structure, strategies, and solutions. And the model, that whole lifetime client journey that we teach that will allow you to implement a model that is proven successful that will help you chart everything you need. You have your manuals, you have your scripts, you have your videos, you have your audios, you have everything that you need to be able to implement that model. And then the other thing, so once you, you invest in your education for clinical and business, both, you can't just have one or the other, you really need both, and then you got to position yourself as an expert. This business is all about expertise. Nobody wants to go to someone who just came out of school to trust them with your face. Are they? No. So it takes a little time to gain that expertise level. And it takes dedication. It takes commitment. It takes drive. And when you have all those things behind you, then you're more likely to reach success than not. Right? So invest in yourself. It's very, very key. So I shared with you the three ways. So as an employee, as a solopreneur, and then as a fullpreneur. But no matter which one you choose, as long as you choose it with you being a high achiever, then you can't help but succeed. You got to have that burning desire inside you. No matter which path, you got to have that. And when you have it, great things are going to come your way. So be a high achiever. As a matter of fact, one of my very first chapters in my new book talks about how to become a high achiever. And when you are a high achiever, there is nothing that can stop you. You are on top of your game, and success is going to be right there for you. So be that. Be a high achiever. Ready? <laughs> All right, let me tell you about the biggest problem we have in our industry. And that one hurts. It really hurts if you are an owner, especially. We have, um, I'll just tell you a little story. So I have a, a client of ours who owned urgent care. And he had this friend of his that they've been friends for a long time. And they e even owned a cottage together up in the mountains somewhere. So he brings her on as an injector. She was a nurse practitioner. He brings her on as an injector. He promoted her, had her on billboards all over the place, marketing up the yang yang, and just really built her up. And you know what she did? Now remember, these are friends. 
friends, not just co-workers. So she went out and opened up right across the street from his facility. To me, that's unethical. It's burning bridges. It's no way to operate because you know what? I believe in bad karma and what goes around comes around. And if you're that kind of person that's going to be working for someone as an employee and think that you're going to build up your clientele and then you're going to take them all with you and go somewhere else, to me, that's totally unethical. You should be working for someone to gain expertise, but those clients really belong to the business that you worked for. They need to stay there. You need to go out on your own, fine. Then position yourself as an expert, have marketing in place, so you can, do, and if you're that good and you gained your experience over here, guess what? You're gonna be good all over again here. But you have to be ethical. I have heard so many horror stories, and the last thing we want, you guys, is to have uh, nurse practitioners, RN, or a PA, or whoever, have that kind of reputation so people are afraid to hire you anymore because they know you're gonna build the business and then take it someplace else. Not good practice. So if you are gonna take the path as an employee, I want you to look at it this way. It's an opportunity for you to enhance your skills, to become an expert, to know how the business runs, to learn, and then have that conversation with the owner. They might give you a location. If you're that good, if you have that many clients, why not be open about it? I really need you guys to be open and go and have the conversation with the owners and see what opportunities you have to actually grow or help them expand or open up more locations. Now you're being ethical. And I'm sure all of you are who are with me today, but just a little thing I have to mention because we hear so many horror stories and it's really becoming an issue in our industry and it should not be that way because we're all professionals, are we not? So let's act like it. This is very important. So please don't burn any bridges, have the conversation instead. All right, so legally speaking, so when you are in that position where you want to go and open up a place, there are so many legal issues. There are many states that you have to have a medical director. So where do you get a medical director from? There are many uh, issues with how do you pay that medical director? Can you own the business or do they have to own the business? What licensing do you need? What are the do's and the don'ts, the can's and the cannots? It's very important for you to really do your homework and make sure that you consult with an attorney based on what state you are in so we can actually do the proper thing and be legal. Now, there are many uh, attorneys that specialize in uh, medical aesthetics. I would sec suggest if you want to email us, we can give you a list of couple that we like and consult with them. It'll be worth the investment. Don't be cheap about business consulting and don't be cheap about uh, legal <laughs> consulting because they're both very important to your success. And that would be a very crucial thing because the last thing you want is to do something that, that's not legal and end up getting in trouble and losing everything. So just be very careful and make sure that you do the proper consulting for them. Okay? So how do we chart that successful career path? It's really, if you have the formula, it's really not that complicated. Uh, it really all starts with your passion and your goals. Uh, Tracy and I were just talking and she, like, she just told me today, like most people don't know what they want. Most people don't, and I agree, most people don't know what they want. Do you know what you want? <laughs> you should know what you want. You gotta know your passion and your goals, what you're trying to accomplish. And then once you find that out, then you need to choose that ideal path for you. And once you decide what it is that you want to do and you choose the path, 
then you need to go and study and learn so you become best at it. You can become that high achiever. And again, I mentioned you need to learn the business and the clinical both. So how do you learn? How do you advance? How do you get better? You become better by having a coach. Just like in sports, I love sports analogies because they make so much sense. They're just like business. Could you imagine uh, football players just showing up and playing Sunday games? No. They go to training, they coach, they practice, they watch film. They do all that so they become better and better and better at what they do. So they have a coaching team. Do you have a coach? Do you have a mentor? If you don't, you should have one. Everybody needs one, yours included, everybody does. And when you do that and you truly invest in your education, then you, it's half the battle. Because if you know what to do without making big mistakes, then you're gonna reach success the fastest way possible. And that's at the end of the day, that's really most important instead of going around in circles and circles and circles. So your homework for tonight is to truly look at where you are right now, depending on where you are in your career path, and then sit down and really come up with some good goals and see what exactly you want out of life, out of your career, and how much money do you really want to make, and how can you get there? And when you do all that, you know, life is so much more enjoyable you don't have stress, you don't have headaches, you don't have this or that. It makes a big difference, it really does. So I want you, when you set your goals, I want you to close your eyes and just imagine some of these things that we're gonna talk about. Having that fulfilling career. As a matter of fact, if you were thinking, like right now, if you close your eyes and say, okay, this is a year from now, what would your life be like? Where would you be living? How much money will you be making? How did you get here? Imagine it a year in advance and see what truly you want. It's a great exercise to go through. Have a notepad and just write some things down because when you write them down, they become a reality. And when you take action, they definitely become a reality. And that's really what I'm trying to encourage you to do here is to really decide what is that lifestyle that you want for you and your family and go after it? You know, most people want to have freedom to do what they want, when they want it. Wouldn't that be nice? Absolutely. But you have to put in the work first to get there. So I want you to imagine that bright future and that bright career path that you want for yourself and the financial freedom that you are seeking and it truly makes a big difference. So these are the four S's that I was just speaking about. There are part of the business model that we teach and that's systems. Again, if you wanna write them down, you gotta have systems in your business. You have to have strategies, you have to have structure and you have to have solution. That's very key to your success. So do that imagination exercise and see where it's gonna lead you. So I wanna invite you to join our community. This was one of the last seminars that we did. These are people just like you who are in the industry and are looking to invest in their business growth. And it really does make a big difference once you have the formula. And that's really what we want for you. So if you wanna become a member with us, you can go to inspirationmanagement.com. You'll be able to access MedSpa Biz University and be able to really learn that entire business model that we were talking about. Now I wanna make you one other thing and I wanna talk about this because this is very, very important in our industry. Here are the facts. The medical spa industry is not cheap. It's expensive to go get the kind of treatments that people want, therefore, you have to find people with discretionary income. Not every person is ideal for your business. You want people that have money and can afford what you do. So we have this amazing program called the Millionaire Circle. In the Millionaire Circle, we teach everyone how to target, how to market, how to sell, 
and how to profit from the affluent consumers. So the entire program is about how to position yourself in such a way to attract the affluent and be able to come into your facility. That way you don't have to play the price war games and you're able to recommend ticket sales to them and be able to buy them. And then they can enroll into your membership program that could be 500 or or $1,000 a month. Average people cannot afford that. So you wanna target the top 10% of the population in your community so you can actually receive and reach the goals that you're looking for. So this program is available virtually online, which is great. You'll be able to access it on Metzbabiz University and you'll be able to attract the affluent. It has four video modules in it where we go over specifics, exactly how to target and market and sell and profit from the affluent and we're giving you access to it for one whole year so you can go back and watch it over and over and over until you really have it and here's the best part this program usually is thirty nine hundred dollars so for you guys we're offering it today for only three ninety nine for three payments so basically about eleven $1 hundred dollars to gain access to a, almost a four thousand dollar program so if you're serious about charting a successful path in the medical spa industry, then you definitely need to learn how to attract the affluent. There's no ifs, ends, or buts about it. You gotta attract people that can afford you, and this program will help you do that. So I hope that you'll take advantage of it. Uh, we're only doing this for the people that are actually attending this webinar and you can go into the shopping cart on inspirationmanagement.com and you'll be able to see the millionaire circle and that's where you can actually gain access to that program. So you, you have everything to gain and nothing to lose and one year access. So my recommendation will definitely start with that if you can't be a member. Because here is the fact, at the end of the day, you have two choices. You can either do this, run around in circles, take forever to reach success, or you can follow a model and be successful much quicker. Reinventing the wheel is very costly. You don't want to do that. We have perfected the wheel for the last 20 years we've been doing this, and we're always improving the model over and over and over. And I want to share it with you. That's what we do for a living. We help you succeed. And if there's someone like me, I'll be saying like, when can I start, <laughs> right? You need the help. And that's what my team and I do actually. We help you reach success the fastest way possible. So I hope that you've enjoyed this and I'm gonna take some questions here. So those of you who are with us live, if you have some questions, I have Tara here fielding them out for us. And I'm going to spend uh, about maybe 10 or 15 minutes answering your questions. So please, if you have some, write them in so we can have some Q&A. And again, you need to go to inspirationmanagement.com. You can go to the shop to sign up for the Millionaire Circle or become a member, either one. All right, Tara, we have some questions. We do, Dory. First, let me thank you for another amazing webinar. So much great, valuable information. We appreciate that. So we have some questions coming live here um, from our attendees. And our first question is, Dory, how can I become better at cross-marketing? Oh, you got to learn the techniques. Actually, we teach one that's very simple. And usually it starts with the morning meeting called the daily success planning meeting. And I have to say, as a matter of fact, we just heard from one of our members telling us that. Tara, you even told me that story. So it all starts with the daily success planning meeting. You guys need to look and see who's coming in for the day. What are they having? What have they had in the past? And then make a plan that day for success. If we've noticed they've never had a facial with us, then the, let's say they're coming in for their injectables, then the injectable person, the injector will be able to give them maybe a spa dollar that they could apply a certain amount of savings towards their uh, first facial and reserve that appointment. 
So being one team, if you have a team, and knowing what each person's expertise is and talking about it and then giving them their offer is a super easy way mm -hmm. to do cross marketing within your facility. So that's just one quick little example that we teach and it's so effective. It will help you generate so much more revenue because now we're being intentional, we're being purposeful. And when you are purposeful and you know what's happening that day and you take advantage of that opportunity or you seize that opportunity, then everyone is gonna win. So definitely cross marketing is one of the most important things you can do for each other as a team to help everyone grow. Yeah. Thank you for your question. And just to add on that, like I was sharing that with you because I had a, they were a high achiever member and I was doing a training with their team and they doubled their retail, Dory, last month just from doing your daily success planning and looking at when the last time clients bought products and noticing it had been three months and they're like, oh, well, by now your products should be empty. Mm -hmm. And they doubled their retail in one month. Yeah. So that's how powerful doing that daily success planning meeting is mm -hmm. uh, when doing it. And being intentional, I mm -hmm. mean, that's huge. And it was a team involvement. So every person on their team is involved in looking at that yes. on the daily success planning meeting. Yes, that's so. wonderful. Um, so the next question is, Dory, I'm not doing a full consultation. How can I learn to do that better and generate thousands from my consultations? Is this from Anna? Yes. Um, you're not alone, by the way. Most people mm -hmm. don't do proper consultation. That's the one thing that we definitely help people implement once they become a member. And the program, as I mentioned a little earlier, is called Success with Guest Consultation. We teach the sacred system. It's an acronym for the process of which you need to practice and learn to do proper consultations. And when you apply the sacred system into your consultation process, you truly will be able to generate instead of hundreds, uh, the goal really for our clients is to generate at least $4,000 from that first consultation, minimum, minimum, at least 2,000, right? But if you do multiple modalities, it's so easy to reach 4,000. But the problem is so many of you judge your client's pocketbook. As a matter of fact, I had a client tell me the other day, my injector is trying to talk the client out of doing fillers. Like, are you kidding me? Again, they're gonna end up going somewhere else. That doesn't help. So what we want to do is follow that sacred system and it's all spelled out for you in video, in a manual, in scripts, in forms that are so important to use, in how to position the consultation, how to do the consultation step-by-step, -step, role played. You can do a million yourself by following that process, seriously. But if you don't, and again, you're being just an order taker, then you're not gonna do anything, and it's not gonna bring satisfaction to your clients. So you're missing out on a lot. Thank you for the question, but you can uh, gain access to that program a couple of different ways. One, you can become a member and gain access to all of our programs totally free on Metz Bobby's University, or you can buy it a la carte from the shopping cart. Just go and purchase just success with guest consultation. And if you learn it, you will totally set yourself apart from everyone else because you will truly be delivering a complete experience to your clients and your guests. And that's at the end of the day, that's what they pay us for. We want to give them what they need, what they deserve, what they want. But if we're judging their pocketbook and we're just being order takers, then you're not going to reach your true potential and you're not going to be the expert that you are. As a matter of fact, the best people in our business, my best clients, are the people that are so confident. They can stand there and look at someone and find out what is it that they really want and make a complete recommendation. It's easy to get to $4,000. But if you're judging what they can afford, cannot afford. I had someone the other day tell me, uh, I'm asking her, what else can I have? She's like, well, we could do a couple of fillers. 
And then all of a sudden she's like, well, but that's kind of expensive. I'm so, I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> it's kind of expensive. But we do use uh, cherry if you want. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm carrying a Chanel bag. I'm wearing Jimmy Choo shoes. I'm wearing nice jewelry. I'm wearing Armani suit. And she's telling me she has cherry for me. Come on. Come on. Seriously? Seriously? I was insulted. I was insulted by her telling me that I can't afford two fillers and that she has a, a payment plan for me. But that's what goes on sometimes. You just, because you can't afford that, doesn't mean that someone else cannot afford it. And I'm telling you, if you attract the affluent with the millionaire circle, you're going to have people like me as your clients that can just hand over their MX card and like sign me up, whatever I need, help me out. And that's how you learn how to do a proper consultation. Perfect. Thank you. So Jory, Michelle was asking earlier, you asked us to do the poll and I'm thinking about opening my own place. I currently don't work for a med spa. What are the steps that you and your team can help me when deciding how to open my own place and how not to mm -hmm. do the wrong things? I have to say, actually, what I have up here would be the ideal thing for you. You should go on our website and reserve a success planning session where one of my team members can sit down with you, find out exactly what your vision is, and then we can show you how exactly we can help you. But for someone like you, it all starts really with a proposal with a business plan first, space planning, your branding, like doing your logo, doing your website. And these are all things my team can help you with. But uh, we really need to know what kind of place you're thinking about, how much of a budget do you have, how much you wanna invest before I could really answer that question. So reserve the success planning session and we can definitely show you what would be the best way for you to go. Perfect. Thank you, Dory. Um, next question here from Chris. Do you have other tools that could help a solo operator be more successful? Oh, yes, we have a lot. Actually, the leap ahead, the one Shelby came to uh, when she was a member would be a very important thing. The millionaire circle, the success with guest consultation would be key. And the don't sell recommend, at least, would be great mm -hmm. for retail sales. So those are all different programs. But I have to tell you, the best way to really discover all the tools is to go on inspirationmanagement.com and go to the shop and you'll see all the different tools that we have. Or also you can reserve a success planning session and we can help you. That's really the best way to do it. If I were you, all of you, I would just reserve a success planning session. Tell us, here's where we are. Here's where I want to go. How do I get there? And we're going to tell you how you can get there. It's really not rocket science. It's really very simple. Thank you. Another question here from Michelle Dory. Um, you mentioned about planning for opening. Um, how long should they expect to be to be potentially open as a nurse injector going out on her own is the earlier question she asked. Should she plan a year, two years? What can be that realistic Before time frame? Before you open a place? Yes. I mean, it depends on the size of the place, whether it's built, not built. That's a lot of variables depending on what is going on. But if it's totally from scratch, it could take a year. If you're just going to go and do a studio, we can open one next month. You just have to do all the marketing, of course. But, I mean, it could be from a month to up to a year, depending on exactly what's going to go on within that planning or how big the place is going to be and whether it's built or not. So, but definitely the more you plan, the more you're going to succeed. If you don't plan, you're going to fail. The <laughs> saying goes like this, right? People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. So as long as you have a plan, then you will succeed and you'll have a timeline within that plan to make sure that you're doing things accordingly. Perfect. Dory, Jessica would like to ask you, how do you recommend a solopreneur who has few services implementing a simple VIP program or a membership program, as you called it? Okay, 
So if I'm a solopreneur, um, I mean, a membership is good for you. How do you go about it? I would, there's actually a whole process that we teach. The first thing I would do before I even decide if I'm gonna have a membership as a solopreneur would be to run a client spent report. So I wanna run a report of all my clients and see how much are people spending with me on average over a one year period. You may not need a membership program in your case, I don't know. Membership is good when you have a bigger facility, but if you're customizing and you position yourself as a boutique aesthetic, medical aesthetic practice, you don't really need a membership. You could just do everything customizable and you can have high ticket uh, programs for every single person that walks in. So it may, it may not be necessary. But if you're seeing that your people are not spending that much, then you can introduce them to a membership program that's going to be higher than what they're averaging, their spending average a month with you. Now you're promoting the membership as a way for you to generate more revenue for the business. And that's why you need to really run the report first and see what's going on and then make the necessary call based on what you find. Okay, thank you. And Dory, we have time for one more call here. Um, question, can you tell us more about the Millionaire Circle Seminar and what is included in that? Yeah, so that's probably one of my favorite seminars. We did that truly to help the industry because what I was finding out is everybody's playing price war games. As a matter of fact, uh, Tracy and I were riding down to New Smyrna yesterday and she saw the big bull, big billboard, eight ninety nine Botox, right? <laughs> and she's like, well, who's that crazy person doing that? I said, yes, he's a doctor here in town, and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, you, you have to truly raise your prices instead of being that cheap person trying to attract people on price. Guess what? When you're advertising cheap pricing, you're going to attract the people that are not loyal to you. They're going to be hopping to the best deal possible. And you don't want that. So instead of being cheap, I want you to be expensive instead because people like expensive things. They think the more expensive, the better you are. And that's really what the millionaire circle is all about. I'm going to teach you how to position yourself as the expert that you are raise your prices, and then change your marketing to attract the affluent people that can afford you who are not looking for cheap. They're looking for expensive. They're looking for great value, not discounts, value, added value. And they are looking for somebody to help them truly look and feel their best and not look so fakey like how some people look. So it's very important. And the modules... I mean, anybody that has taken this uh, program, you can go on YouTube and check out all the raving fans, as a matter of fact, but it is phenomenal. It will totally transform the way you think about marketing. It will help you identify who is your ideal target market, and I show you all kinds of examples on how to truly attract the affluent. We go over actually the 12 commandments of different ways to attract the affluent people. It's definitely an event that you should attend or access it on demand online. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dory. I think we're right at the hour. It is four yes, o'clock. Yes, we are. We um, did good. <laughs> we appreciate you taking the time to do webinar. We're getting hearts from everybody online. Thank you. Thank you so hearts much, back Dory. To you. Thank you so much for being with us again. I encourage you to go and reserve a success planning session. Let us help guide you and get you to the success plan that you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless, and until next time, stay inspired. Bye now.